Apparently, we should welcome the Administ Twitter to the channel. We have been talking about this issue since April, March, or April of this year, that the Russians and the Chinese are moving into South America and getting a foothold in South America, and that more than likely there is going to be some type of a military event involving Venezuela and Panama. And I think he knows it. And I think this is his way of saying, see, I told you so. Now, in this article, which was dated today, he basically reiterates everything this channel has been saying for the last, what is it, seven months, eight months at least? Uh, warning specifically about the influence of Russia and China. Um, recognize the challenges facing the region. Evident dependence of both Venezuela and Cuba on rival countries like China and Russia. China seeking to bring the region into its orbit. Russia continues its, well, we'll see, failed Cold War policy. I don't know how you could call it failed, given the amount of successes that they've had down there now. Setting up food deals with both Venezuela and Brazil. And arms deals, more than likely, with Cuba. All in the last year. All since the new sheriff in town took over. And I'm sorry if you don't like this, but I have tried to maintain the focus on this channel, South America. I have not gone after him specifically on domestic policies or any other policies. But now, clearly, he has entered the fray. So, you know, we're going to continue to talk about this because this is what I said we were going to talk about. Both China and Russia support the dictatorship in Venezuela and are seeking to expand their military links and arms sales throughout the region. Yes, we know. Welcome to the channel, Don John. Recognize Russia and China have emerged as powerful rivals that may pose potential threats. I would love to hear how all of you Trump Trumpanzies that have come to the channel the last, oh, I don't know, three months and told me I was just uh, talking at the air about this. Are, is, is now your current leader, is he fake news or am, am I fake news? I can't really keep it straight, given that basically now he is saying exactly the same thing we said a long time ago. Uh, Trump said he will develop new ways of confronting those who use the internet to pose threats against peace and prosperity, meaning that he is going to tweet like nobody's business. So you can read this if you want to. Um, Pan, Pan Am Post, we've gone here a bunch of times talking about this issue, and now finally it has made its way to the desk of the leadership. Now, we have also made the assertion that Panama will be next in the crosshairs. We have talked about, twice this year, the Venezuelan military has done forays into Colombia. And they've retreated, but they are probing their defenses. And... Of course, people have come to the channel and said, oh, you're completely wrong. Their country's in disarray and their military is completely inept. And that's why Global Firepower has them ranked 40th in the, in the world. So here, the current leader, Maduro, of Venezuela, has said something very interesting. Nicolas Maduro's regime is threatening to suspend all communication and trade with neighboring Caribbean countries, such as Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire, as well as the Colombian border regions of Cucuta and, I don't know how to say this, Maichao, Maisao, uh, due to supposed organized crime. Supposed? Really, supposed organized crime. That is, he said, tearing Venezuela apart. In Aruba and Curaçao, the mafias are tearing us apart, and I have even thought about closing all means of communication and all commercial interaction of all kinds both air and sea, with Aruba, Curaçao, and Benair at any time, Maduro said during a workshop for strategic territorial government planning, whatever. Here's the quote. He added, I've thought about it seriously, about the mafias that take everything, the oil, rubber, shampoo, meals, everything, and for Cucuta and Maichao, oh, we have a surprise for you. Really? You have a surprise? Now, let's go to the map. Okay, sorry. Um, looks like, there we go. Okay, 
This little island here is Bonaire. This is Curacao. This is Aruba. Here's Maisau or Maikau. And here is Kukuta. Have we been to this part of the map before? Those of us who have, uh, those of you who have been part of the channel? What do we know about Zulia? We know that as of the last election, because their regional governor wouldn't do his oath before the Constituent Assembly, Zulia, the entire western region of Venezuela, is now under the direct control of Caracas. We also know Pastor Oropesa Hospital has been taken over by the military and all cameras expelled. We also know from this region that the Venezuelan military has two times this year done forays into Colombian territory. And now the leader of Venezuela has said he has a surprise for these two cities and these three nations over here. Huh. I wonder what that surprise could be. I wonder what is so interesting over here that he would make these kinds of threats. I'm telling you, this is coming. Everything, all of the groundwork has been laid now. And even the current administrator cannot, his advisors have probably come to him and said, look, this is only a matter of time, Mr. Administrator, before the Venezuelans reach out and touch someone. They now have food deals with the Russians. They now have medicine deals with the Indians. People from India. The Colombians have protested twice about these military incursions, and nobody's listened. It's coming. I guarantee it's coming. There is... This is going to be something where they say, as in order to maintain the sovereignty and the well-being of the people of Venezuela, we had to proactively invade Panama. Because, and I'm going to show you something here in another article as I close this. It's from, uh, this is Dialogo Americas. And it talks about Admiral Kidd. He is the leader of Southcom, the naval leader of Southcom. And down here, I want to make sure I get this right. I have two different articles up here. That he talks about how these cartels and these criminal organizations are now operating and have moved from Guatemala to Panama. And I want to get this right. I have two articles up here, and I do apologize for the delay here. Um, perhaps this is other article. Yeah, here we go. Um, this is USNI. And he talks about, here it goes, Tid described stopping the narcotics flow north was like squeezing a balloon, where large and small-scale smugglers adjust where they will land the drugs for transshipment. They will adapt, now using Panama rather than Guatemala, Southern Command's area of responsibility to the north ends at the Mexican border. Okay, and this is an article out of uh, USNI, when Southcom took over, and we've covered this in other videos, how Southcom is completely underfunded and completely unable to stop the mass flow of drugs coming out of South America, not through Mexico, but through the region north of Venezuela to Florida. And now with the complete loss of the Oliver Hazard Perry frigates, with their replacements not ready to go online until next year, I'm telling you, this is what Venezuela is going to take advantage of. This was probably what they were waiting for those ships to be gone offline. And once they make this make this move, folks, it's going to be over quickly. It's not going to be something where we have the ability to interdict. And I'm sorry I had the map up in another uh, window, not another tab like I should have. But I'm telling you, this is the only way that the Venezuelans are going to continue 
I am positive that more than likely this deal with the Venezuelans and the Russians came with the caveat of Panama, that they have to be able to control this canal for it to be beneficial to the Russians. And I'm sure they have the wink, wink, nod, nod endorsement of the Chinese that in this other article, that's why I had it up, the uh, one from Dialogo Americas, that a lot of the um, poppy, the narcotics coming through Panama, the canal, are being now traced to China. And so they have a financial interest in it as well. And you folks, I, I've done three or four videos, go to Global Firepower 2017. If you think the Venezuelans don't have the ability to pull this off, think again. The Colombians are not going to stand in their way, at least not the Colombians that are in power in the government, because they are slaved to those cartels, to those criminal networks, and controlled by them. And I'll go back to it again. He says it right here. We have a surprise for you. I guarantee he is telegraphing this. And now that it's made its way onto the lips of the Administ Twitter, I think they're seeing it. I think they're absolutely seeing what's going to happen. And they know that we are more than likely not in a good position to interdict anything. And he's going to tweet about it, and he's going to put on more sanctions, and he's going to ask the international community for this, that, and the other. But by the time it's done, it's done. And remember, the Panamanian government has just signed an exclusive deal with China, excluding Taiwan. They don't deal with them anymore. And Taiwan was the, the U.S.'s ally, because they have more of a, a bend toward free trade than the Chinese do. And I could do a whole other article about uh, the Chinese manipulating their economy and how that's being covered now, finally, and why the complete backtracking of the administ Twitter on labeling China a currency and manipulator is a huge promise break. It is a giant slight. I mean, this was something that he put in his own 100 days plan, said he was going to do, and as soon as he got elected, he said, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. And he didn't say oh, I was going to label them a manipulator of the currency downward or upward or any other way. Just a manipulator. And they do this. And that's why they've been able to control the world's economy for so long. So it's, uh, it's coming. It is absolutely coming. And now, finally, it has made its way onto the headlines. But I fear it's too late, so... Anyway, thank you very uh, very much, folks, for the support of this channel. I really appreciate it. I know we're not the biggest channel. Um, I don't get everything right always, but I do the very best that I can. But we're going to continue to cover this. Um, have a very Merry Christmas. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.